It is a first alert weather day. It comes after a night of hail in northern Colorado that caused some significant damage. Erie residents are coping with broken vehicle windows and roof damage. We've had a very foggy morning and that means delays at Denver International Airport, so make sure to check flights. Our Kennedy Cook started her morning in Erie, but she has now moved to Milliken, which had to close roads because of flooding there. Kennedy, a wild night in Weld County. I mean, Michelle, we've seen it all. As you mentioned, we were up in Erie earlier where we saw hail and we saw the damage that that hail caused. And now we're in Milliken where it's plenty of road closures and lots of muddy and wet roads. I want you guys to go ahead and take a look this way as you see, see still some flooding happening. Now we're currently on Inez, which is one of the main roads in Milliken. And you see the remains of that flooding and still some roads here are recovering from that flooding. There, now there's also crews out this morning to get these roads cleared up. Now, according to the National Weather Service, excessive runoff may result in flooding rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone areas in Boulder, Jackson, Larmer, Morgan, and Wield counties. I am rocking on these rocks, trying to be careful, you all. It's a lot of mud and just mush out here in Milliken. Now, we did reach out to the city who shared that even more flooding is happening in southern Milliken. And right now, there is a flood watch here, and they don't know when that watch will be up, but it's certainly something that we will keep an eye on. But as you all just saw, and as I mentioned, plenty of mud and flooding here that the city is now recovering from. Michelle, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Kennedy, be careful out there. Thank you. And stunning video is in from Erie where hail damaged people's cars overnight, even destroying windows. Some try to cover up with towels and cardboard to prevent further damage, but neighbors say it was nature's fury on full display. Last night was pretty bad. I have a video of it. It was like you couldn't even see the street. It took out the street lamp. It took out my truck, the girlfriend's sunroof. Everybody's car on this block is absolutely destroyed. 100% looks like this. And within like five minutes, we came outside, tried to cover our cars, and then it was just destroyed. It was, it hurt. <laughs> yeah, it, it felt it hurt. like we were getting shot. We were trying to put up blankets and stuff, and within five minutes, we were like, absolutely not, and then we all ran inside. Well, six years ago this week, the costliest hailstorm hit the metro area. On May 8th, hail and flooding swamped us, causing $2.5 billion in damage. 150,000 auto owners made insurance claims, along with 50,000 homeowners. It also badly damaged Colorado Mills Mall, and it took months for all the stores to recover. So all of this is a good reminder to check your insurance policy. You need to know what your deductible is. The Rocky Mountain Insurance Association recommends comprehensive coverage for your vehicle and to consider investing in a hail resistant roof for your home. Our meteorologists are keeping their eyes on this system all day long. We'll have any updates as they happen on our stream CBS News Colorado and you can find us on your connected device on the CBS News app or Pluto TV.